Number 201 in the imprint range is the Bad News Bears Go to Japan. I was so eager for this, so happy to see them announce it because they've done the previous two Bad News Bears movies. I've got them. Love the first one. Second one's all right. And the third one has an atrocious reputation. Let's just say they made no more after this. And you can kind of see why while watching it. Now, as for nostalgia, for seeing all the characters back, to see that camaraderie that kind of have in amongst the team, it was fun to revisit this world. But man, the movie is long, even at 91 minutes, and there's lots of sequences that have really nothing to do with the large storyline here, or they don't really move it forward in any way. <laughs> The surprising facet of this one is the fact that Tony Curtis is the main actor in this one. Uh, I just can't explain it uh, at all. So we start off with the Bad News Bears watching TV. Turns out that the, the US have turned down a proposal for uh, the, the best little league team in uh, America to go and play the Japanese because they've lost the previous 11 years. Tony Curtis is a businessman who is also watching this, has an idea and decides that somehow he's going to take the Bad News Bears to Japan and get a big TV deal. Right, a bunch of ragamuffin American kids go to Tokyo, Japan to defend the national pastime. Is that the natural? I'm talking national television. But from there, we almost instantly jump to uh, Tony Curtis talking to the team. There's a throwaway comment about talking to his parents and that they should all sign these contracts. And in the next minute, they're in Japan. It's one of those ones that happens so quickly that there's no kind of preamble. And then once they're in Japan, it's all about the sort of fish out of water and in this different culture and just silly sequences that pad out until the inevitable big game at the end. Holy shit, he hit a home run! You get Kelly, her sort of main uh, Bad News Bear character as he kind of falls in love with a, a Japanese girl and they're kind of trying to have a relationship even though there is no communication because they speak different languages. You get Tony Curtis constantly trying to uh, find these business deals to help him out. They jump to elongated sequences of kind of nothing. Uh, we go to a martial arts tournament of sorts, but the guys never fight each other. They're just breaking blocks. Uh, and we kind of watch an American and we watch a, a Japanese one. And then the American ends up coming out of this, the poorer, uh, after an elongated sequence again. And it just leads into other sequences that aren't particularly funny. They don't push the story on very much. You know, it should be focused on the baseball team, playing baseball, trying to galvanise with a coach who's reluctantly going to work their way around and help them become the team that they want to. And although it tries to hit those beats, it gets sidetracked in all these other stories that aren't that interesting, that aren't that fun, that make it a little bit meh for me. Hey, what are you doing? You were safe. I thought so too. So what are you doing? I think he needs a pair of glasses. I'm glad to have the Bad News Bears go to Japan. It's nice to round out the trilogy. Will I ever watch it again? Highly doubtful. <laughs> I don't see that happening. I'm so glad to have them. I don't see me really watching it again. Um, the humour with Falls Flat. Tony Curtis, although he is decent, looks as if he's there for a payday. Uh, the, the kids are a little bit grating and we don't spend enough time with them doing uh, fun shenanigans. There are moments that I did like, like Tony Curtis and the Japanese coach later on kind of forming a bond. The finale of the, the, the movie was actually pretty fun and I like that, but it's almost too little too late. Marvin! If I take off my shoes, I'm going to get an athlete's foot. Well, that'll be the only part of you that is an athlete. I'm trying to find any excuse to say that I enjoyed this one. And I just can't. And that's from a fan of the other two movies. So bear that in mind if you're thinking of picking it up. But I would love to know your thoughts on the bad news bears go to Japan. Have you seen it? 
Are you interested in checking it out? Uh, do you like the first one? Uh, the other ones in this series? Let me know in the comment box. And while you're down there, give me the thumbs up because it really helps. There is more content up here. If you want to see more of my stuff, in the description box below are links to the Patreon, the membership program and mandyfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.